Hello everyone. Did you know that there are certain apps on your smartphone that have access to virtually everything you do on it, including how you use all the apps you've installed for work? They can also monitor and read your regular text messages, as well as the messages you send in various messengers and what you search for on YouTube. Besides, of course, your RAM is constantly being cluttered, and there's constant data exchange over the internet. This parasite runs in the background from morning until night, 24-7, and, of course, it needlessly drains your battery. This significantly impacts battery life. And the worst part is that all this collected data is sent somewhere by the developer, supposedly to improve your smartphone's performance. So ask yourself this, if developers collected all your smartphone usage data, would they really send you special updates to make your experience more comfortable? Of course not. All users receive updates at a certain time. And this data collection, which occurs whether you want it or not, won't affect your device in any way or improve its performance. On the contrary, your system will be heavily overloaded, and in some situations, even your phone will slow down. Furthermore, these hidden system apps have too many permissions, which also impact your privacy because they affect absolutely every aspect of your life, even turning on your GPS and keeping it running continuously, even when it's turned off. At the same time, they monitor your location. Of course, this is mainly used to send you a ton of ads, but that's only a small part of what this app actually does. So, now I'll tell you everything. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, look. I'll show you a few nuances right away. If you go to the regular standard settings, then yes, there is a section here called Applications. If you click here, you'll see all the applications. And many people will search this way. You can type the name of the application here, but I'll tell you that in most cases, 99% of the time, you won't find this application because it's hidden and it's hidden in a completely different menu. Yes, it's similar, but it has more different settings. And now I'll show you. Before that, you need to do one more thing. So you don't get confused, go back to the regular standard settings. And here, find the personal security section. Look, smartphones also have regular security, so don't get confused. Go here. And now you need to click on special permissions. By the way, note that at the bottom it says that we must independently control all the permissions that are here. Go to this line. And now you need to find a very important setting called change system settings. Here, the words themselves speak for themselves. We need to make sure that some obscure app doesn't control system settings. Because with this permission, in principle, you can change any setting, even if you, for example, disabled it. But the next day, for some reason, it can re-enable itself. And this is precisely where you need to double-check everything. To do this, you need to click the three dots and click Show System Processes. Here, search for the word Analytics. This is the app that collects various data across the entire smartphone. Here. And this app is primarily allowed to change your smartphone system settings. Of course, we disable this slider. But that's not all. Look what we do next. Now we need to use the Google Play Store, where you download games and apps. Click it. Next, find your avatar or account on the right side and click it. Now scroll to the very bottom and find this question mark. This is where the help and review will be written. Click on this line. We are redirected to this menu. Look, all these messages will be different on all smartphones. 
I recommend using the help search. Here, click on search. And here, simply type the word delete. It will find a line about how to delete an app from an Android device. Don't worry, we won't delete anything, but we will now disable the app I showed you. Click on it. Then we'll be taken to this menu. Here you need to find this line. It's in blue and says, go to application settings. If you happen to be using a dark theme, you'll need to temporarily switch to a light one, because in most cases you'll get an error. Granted, not in all cases, but it still happens very often and you can't access it. So, switch to a light theme and click on this line. Next, we'll load absolutely all the apps on your smartphone. You need to click on the three dots here and show system processes. The only downside to this menu is that there's no search. By the way, let me know in the comments if you have a search option specifically in this menu. You just need to scroll through the alphabet a bit and find this app, it's called, here it is, Analyx. Click it. Now look, this is very important. We'll disable it now. The very first thing you need to double check is power and performance. Here's this setting. Click it and see if it says, unlimited. By the way, if you've accessed these settings, let me know in the comments. What's your specific situation? It says, unlimited, either with optimization or limited. I've personally checked it on all smartphones. It's set to, unlimited. That means the battery drains very quickly. And it's written that way here because this app runs in the background, background activity from morning until evening, and monitors absolutely everything you do on your smartphone. Of course, we limit this app's performance to at least reduce battery drain. And in general, we need to make it so that this app stops working on your smartphone. And you'll be surprised how much better your smartphone will work, and this incomprehensible tracking and sending of data that you don't even know about will stop. Look, let's go back and now go to the permissions. You'll simply be shocked. Allowed. Contacts. That is, this app knows everything about your phone book, your phone numbers. Because it has full access to everything. These phone numbers can be sent to someone else. Of course, we need to prohibit this. Let's prohibit it. Go back with the arrow. And now look. Geolocation. Really, that is, access to location. Again, your GPS may not be working, it may be turned off, but since it has access to location, your location is constantly tracked, even if you don't use it. This should 100% be completely prohibited so that there is no access. Go back with the arrow. Next, search for nearby devices. Of course, you need to disable this because, firstly, these could be special trackers that are tracking you personally. There could also be hidden Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connections, and some data could be transferred, but again, you won't see it. This should 100% be blocked. Let's go back to accessing your phone, meaning your calls. When you call someone, there could be some kind of wiretapping, maybe a recording of the conversation, maybe an online connection to your conversation. And again, this is all in hidden mode. Of course, we block this too. Let's go back again. And if you go to three more points and look at all the permissions, you'll be shocked. This includes access to your exact location, your approximate location, and tracking in various ways via Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, and your phone book. In short, there are a huge number of permissions here. That's just a small part of what this app can do. We go back with the arrow, scroll to the very bottom, and be sure to check the permissions below. If you go there, you'll see that there's access to changing system settings. 
Although we disabled it there, here it's also enabled. Of course, we go ahead and disable it. Next, we go back and below that, we see access to other apps you have installed. So, in addition to monitoring your entire smartphone, this also allows control over other apps. And look what I'm going to show you. If I disable it, you see, nothing happens. But if I enable this slider, look what it says, this is a real danger, and you could lose the security of your property. So, you grant this permission at your own risk. And the phone, of course, warns us that it's best not to grant this permission. And even if you grant this permission, you'll only have yourself to blame if you lose any personal data, which could then have negative consequences. So, well, of course, definitely check this setting and disable it. And now, of course, all that's left is to force stop it. There, click OK. Look, if the complete disable button is still lit, you can disable it too. After that, you can restart your smartphone and feel a little relieved that you've freed your phone from this strange tracking, this strange monitoring, freed up your RAM, improved battery life, and gotten rid of this app. Although, you haven't gotten rid of it completely. This is, let's say, the easiest way without uninstalling it, because it's a system app and can't be removed easily. But people who use, for example, ADB, ADB Control, or similar apps, easily remove it completely from their smartphones, so it no longer functions. I think everyone found the video helpful. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel.